welcome to my online lecture series 8 here i introduce multiplication of two dfts component method we follow here that is circular convolution several method are present for finding the circular convolution result In this lecture series, I introduce graphical method to solve the circular convolution. Before starting circular convolution, here I discuss about multiplication of two DFT's component. Here I assume that I have to time domain discrete signal as small x1n and small x2n. Finally, firstly, I convert the signal from time domain to frequency domain. Reason earlier I discuss in detail. So, doing n point DFT, I got capital x1k and capital X2K signal. Now we perform multiplication of those frequency domain signal. Then again doing endpoint IDFT of new frequency domain that is capital X3K signal. And finally we get new time domain signal as a small x3n the procedure we call circular convolution if we elaborate the dft equation separately and then multiplying the component and applying modulo arithmetic Finally, we get small x3n equals to summation n 0 to capital N minus 1 x1 n x2 modulo n m minus n. So, this is formula of circular convolution. Double bracket symbol represent mod. Now, you see most interesting part of the convolution that is linear convolution formula. The difference between two that means Difference between circular and linear convolution for circular the modulo sign is present. Later on we discuss the relation between linear circular convolution and the noted theme modulo part solved by circular way. Now we try to solve some problem using graphical method. Now, here the sequence length in both cases that is 4 means capital N varies from 0 to 3. Now, again we Elaborate the basic formula that is x three zero equals to summation small n zero to three small x one n small x two modulo minus n four. Then again 
elaborate the formula we can write x3 0 equals to x1 0 multiply with x2 modulo minus 0 plus x1 1 multiply with x2 modulo minus 1 plus x1 2 multiply with x2 modulo minus 2 plus x1 3 multiply with x2 modulo minus 3 so here we take two sequence in circular form so first we draw a circle the divided with four point because we already know n equals to four for first and second sequence extreme right of the x axis we take as x10 and x20 point then next point consider as anti clockwise and establish all other point accordingly to the picture now as per the last slide that is elaborate formula of circular convolution we done folded version of second sequence that means x20 and x22 point position are fixed and other two position are interchange that is that means topmost position consider as x23 in place of x21 and another point is x21 in place of x23 here we can also say modulo minus n means point position consider as clockwise for first time of the second sequence as you know for product sequence we multiply the normal first sequence with folded version of the second sequence now we get point to point multiplication after we get 2, 4, 6 and 2 value and as for the formula we add all the point and we get finally x3 0 value that is 14. Now in this slide, find out x31 value. Same process here, we consider take first sequence same as previously, then consider folded version of the second sequence. As per the formula for the second sequence, consider as x2 modulo 1 minus n 4 that means second sequence of the folded version with direction ro with the with rotation anti clockwise direction by one unit in time now the point considered as starting from x21 x20 x23 and x22 now for the product sequence we get 4 1 8 3 simultaneously after point to point multiplication and the finally after all four value addition we get x3 1 value that is 16 now for the next slide here again find out value of x 
3, 2, same process here, we consider take first sequence same as last two cases, then considering the second sequence of folded version with rotated anti-clockwise direction by two unit as for the formula. That means x2 modulo 2 minus n 4. Now the point considered as x2 2, x2 1, x2 0 and x2 3. Now for product sequence if we consider we get 6, 2, 2 and 4 value after point to point multiplication and the finally after all 4 value addition we get x3 2 value that is 14. Lastly in this case find out x3 3 value same process here I consider take first sequence same as last 3 cases then second sequence of folded version with rotate anti-clockwise direction by 3 unit as per the formula that means x2 modulo Three minus n four. Now to point consider as x two three, x two two, x two one, and x two zero. For final product sequence, we get four three eight one value. After point to point multiplication and the final. After all 4 value addition we got x3 3 value that is 16. So finally doing the circular convolution using graphical method we get x3 n as result that is 14 16 14 16. Thank you.